how to configure Caddy as a reverse proxy for Jenkins. There are a number of reasons why you might want to use a reverse proxy for Jenkins. A couple of those reasons are, you might want to offload some of the work being done on your Jenkins server, such as SSL termination and caching. Another reason may be you've got multiple Jenkins controllers running and you want to be able to access them through one base URL. In this video, we're gonna be setting up Caddy as our reverse proxy. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.1. I've also got a machine ready to install Caddy on. Now, how do we go about installing Caddy? Well, let's go over to caddyserver.com slash docs. And on the left nav, we'll click on install. Now, in my scenario, I'm gonna be installing Caddy on a standalone machine. I could have chosen to install it on my Jenkins controller since I only have a single Jenkins controller, but I'm planning to have multiple Jenkins controllers. So in that case, I want to have Caddy on its own machine, and then it can reverse proxy to all the other machines where my Jenkins controllers are running. But for this example, I only have a single Jenkins controller. Now I'm installing onto Alma Linux 8. So I'm going to follow the instructions for Fedora, Red Hat, and CentOS. So we'll click on that. So let's go ahead and go over to our console that's logged into our Caddy machine. You'll notice that I'm already logged in as root. So the first command that we're running is dnf install dnf command. We'll paste that in. And we can see that there's nothing to do because this dnf plugins core is already installed. Now let's go ahead and copy the next line to enable Caddy. And it's asking, do I really want to enable copr.fedoraInfraCloud.org? And the answer is yes. And then finally, let's go ahead and do a DNF install for Caddy. And we'll type yes and yes again. And now Caddy has successfully been installed on this machine. Let's go ahead and verify the service. We'll type clear. We'll say system CTL dash dash full status Caddy. And we can see here that it's loaded, but it's currently inactive. So let's type Q and let's go ahead and start Caddy. So we'll say start. Caddy. Let's run our status line again, and we can see that we're active and running. And let's take a look at how Caddy has started up. It says user bin Caddy run environ config and then Etsy Caddy Caddy file. So if we were to go over and take a look at HTTP Caddy one, we're going to see the hello world or congratulations for Caddy one. Now for this video, I'm not going to be installing SSL certificates. We're just going to be running on port 80. Now that works out good for us because the caddy file that's included in this base installation has everything that we need to turn it into a reverse proxy. Now let's go back over to the caddy documentation. And if we take a look on the left nav, there's a quick start section here, and there's one specifically for a reverse proxy. It goes into two sections. There's one for command line, and there's also one for running a caddy file. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want a reverse proxy line that is pointing back at Jenkins 8080, which is where our Jenkins controller is right now. So let's go ahead and go back over to our console. Let's quit out of the status. And then since I'm root, I have the ability to go ahead and edit this caddy file. So let's go ahead and clear. And we'll say vi etsy caddy and caddy file. We can see here that we're already listening on port 80. In fact, that's what we just tested here a moment ago where it says caddy works. We're not HTTPS, it's just port 80. Now, since I'm not going to be using Caddy for a site specifically, it's just for a reverse proxy, I can go ahead and comment out this line and I can also comment out the file server line because again, I'm not using this as a normal web server, it's just going to be a reverse proxy. The next line that we have here is the reverse proxy line. So let's go ahead and uncomment this line and let's change the local host to Jenkins because I've already set up my DNS to point at that machine. So I'll say insert Jenkins. And then we can leave this last default value, the PHP FastCGI commented out. So the effective change that we have here is we've commented everything out and we've uncommented reverse proxy. So let's go ahead and save this file. And then let's go ahead and restart Caddy. So we'll say systemctl restart Caddy. Now let's go back over to our Caddy page and refresh this page. And you'll notice Caddy1 login. We're now pointing at our Jenkins controller. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and let's log in as our admin user on this controller. And you can see that we're logged in, but there's still one small problem. Let's go over to Manage Jenkins 
And what we'll see is that it appears that your reverse proxy setup is broken. Now, we don't have to fix this, but I don't like seeing this message here, so let's go ahead and fix it. And it's really simple to do. We'll go under Configure System, and you'll find that the Jenkins URL is still pointing at Jenkins colon 8080. Let's go ahead and change this to Caddy1 and click on Save. Now, this drops us right back to the root dashboard of our controller. We'll go back to Manage Jenkins one more time, and you'll notice that that reverse proxy error is now gone. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.